Hello, my name is Sise Castrosana and welcome back to my channel. I have received a few comments from you asking what products do I use and what do I do on my daily routine to achieve the goals um, that I have. I have a very coarse, dry, curly hair, as you can see. And what happens is the natural oils of my hair don't actually reach the end of my hair, so it gets really dry. So I do, I do need to use very specific products to achieve a nicer, moist look within my hair. So today's video is about that. It's a tutorial of my daily routine. Before I start, just a small reminder that if you like this video, don't forget to put a thumbs up. And if you like the content of the channel, uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss on any new videos I'm gonna put through. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my hair and I'll see you in just two seconds. So I just uh, wash my hair and um, to wash it, I've used Nioxin. Um, the number four color safe. Now you can buy this um, in any shop, in any style hair salon, I've seen it as well. They use it for um, hair salons, specialized hair salons in the UK. Um, you can buy this on Amazon, it looks fantastic in loads of different places. So Nioxin is a brand that specializes in hair loss. They have different types, so the one I'm using is the number four color safe and that is because um, I color my hair and also because um, I do have a quiet bands hair loss as well. So if you wanted to use this one, this shampoo and you're unsure which one you should be using, if you go to the website and I'm gonna leave the link underneath, um, you can do the test and then they will let you know which uh, nioxin product you should be using. So as I said before, my um, hair type is coarse, curly and really dry and that is because um, when you have a hair like, like mine the oils, the natural oil, oils don't go all the way to the end of the hair okay so it is very dry, it can get very dry if it's, if it's not treated so one thing that I use that for me is a mask, I need to use this every time I wash my hair is a leave-in conditioner I personally use Two different ones. In this case, I'm gonna use the Paul Mitchell Deck Conditioner. Um, this conditioner is absolutely amazing. The day that I discovered a few years ago, it basically changed my life um, because it's gonna leave my curls quite defined um, and also really nice and soft. So I'm just gonna put a tiny little bit in my hand. Just this much over here. Ooh. And I'm just gonna spread it evenly in my palms, just like that. And I'm just gonna apply it into my hair, starting from my hair at the roots and then whatever is left to the rest on my hair. Once I've done that, another thing that I use um, that also helps me with the the curl the curl define um, when I'm using the Paul Mitchell one. Sometimes because I live in a very humid country in Scotland, it's quite humid. It rains a lot. So I need something that's going to lock the curls completely. And to do so, what I use the got to be twisted hair mousse, and I just. Take a tiny little bit, just as much as that, and I just apply it to the hair. I don't apply in the roots because it gets um, stick up and it gets all crunchy and it's not very nice. Once I've done that and I've got I've got it evenly spread out in my hair, I can feel the product already. Both products, I have to say, smell absolutely amazing. I'm gonna pick up um, this comb, but as you can see, it's got very white um, teeth. I don't know how you call these. But anyway, um, it's very handy uh, because uh, it doesn't break or divide the curls. It keeps them all together. So I'm just gonna comb the hair completely. Once I've done that, I'm just gonna do my parting. I don't really like a very defined parting myself. 
quite difficult to do so without um, a mirror. But once that is done, there you go. That's fine over there. The only thing I need to do now is dry it. So for drying my hair, always make sure if you have curls to use one of these diffusers uh, because it's gonna spread the hot air around your hair and it's not gonna like blow it like completely out and then the, it'll get really, really messy. So I'm just gonna adjust it not too um, strong. The heat is always the same in this one. I'm using the Tresemme used by Professionals Keratin Smooth Hair Dryer. Um, it's quite good, um, nothing massively special, but it does the job for me, so I'm happy with that. So I'm just gonna put it in the first, there you go, not too strong, and I'm gonna put my hair just right underneath there. I'm gonna try not to move it too much, um, so it doesn't break the curls up, and I'm just gonna do it all the hair around. As you can see, I've tried it out now and it's um, but still some sort of wet. So at this point, what I do, I just scrunch the curls up like that. And if I have the time, normally I do, I get up quite early to do my hair if I need to go to the office or applying. If I'm gonna go out or something, I'm just blunt myself beforehand. So I leave plenty of time for my hair because what I'm gonna do now is gonna just leave it to dry the rest on its own. So I'm just gonna crunch up like that and I'm just gonna leave the rest to dry. So in the meantime, I don't know, I'm just uh, gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna do, uh, prepare myself for other things. Um, if you're gonna use her keratins, uh, keratin fibers, uh, and I'm just gonna leave you the link just at the top. Just, I've, I've made a video before so you can see um, what it looks like when I put my keratin fibers on. Um, you have to put them on when your hair is completely dry. If you put them on when the hair is wet, it's, it's gonna get all lumpy and it's not gonna look good on your scalp, okay? So before I put my makeup and get myself all ready, nice and beautiful, I wanted to show you as well a completely different living conditioner that I've been using quite recently. It's actually really, really nice. I'm quite impressed. Um, the, is this one over here? It's Carl Smith Curl Defining Styling Souffle. Um, I bought this and looked fantastic out of all the reviews that I saw and they're really, really good. It has uh, like a jelly complexity, you see, like that, it's bizarre. It smells really nice, it smells like tropical. You need a, just a tiny, tiny little bit of this and then you will put it in your hair, um, but the consistency compared to the Paul Smith one is completely different. So what I find with Paul Smith is that the curls are gonna be bigger and softer. Whereas this one, the curls are gonna be smaller and more defined. So for example, in the other one, I need to put a little bit of mousse right at the end, uh, just to define them better. But this one, I, I don't need any mousse whatsoever. So I put it on, um, it dries up, it, they get quite crunchy, but once the, the whole hair is dry up, if you do it like this a couple of times, um, the curls will become softer. However, they're more defined, so the curls somehow they get slightly smaller than when I use the Paul Smith conditioner, leave-in conditioner. And also it gives you like a wet sort of look as well, whereas this one is more matte, the Paul Smith is more matte. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to highlight for you that um, loads of leave-in conditioners are in the market over there. I use these two. Um, because they give me a completely different um, looks um, and depending on the moment I use one or the other. So that's me, I've put my makeup on, my hair is completely dry, I my curls as you can see are really bouncy and it's got, my hair has got a lot of volume as well. At this point I will put some fibers on um, but I'm not going to do so at the moment because I'm not really going to go out, uh, I just wanted to show you the look. Um, and yeah, just to point out, just a recap for today's video, um, the thing for me, the most important thing is to use a very good leave-in condition if you have a hair type just like mine. Um, also I wanted to point out the two that I've showed you, which is this one, is this one, the Carl Smith and the Paul Smith. Um, hair um, leave-in conditioners that both are very gentle so you can use them on a daily basis uh, they use very nice um, ingredients both of them uh, i think this one's actually um, organic as well 
I don't know. Anyway, it's really nice and they're very gentle for your hair, especially if you're suffering from hair loss. The last thing that you want to do is just put any harsh chemicals on them. So it's something that you can use on a daily basis. And that's me. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content, just subscribe to the channel. So I'm going to be putting other videos about my hair loss, about my daily routine and all sorts of things. Um, and one thing that I want to try as well is if you have any suggestions, um, any products that you want me to try on or something, just put them in the comments. Um, I'll have a look at them and see if I can try them for you and then you can decide if you want to get them or not. Um, so again, thank you so much for watching uh, and I'll see you soon. Bye.